I'm feeling funky fresh. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, there, <laughs> there are so many game announcements in the past few weeks, and I'm like, oh my gosh, man. Like, uh, there's a lot to keep up with. There's a lot of any any announcements, really. Um, let's dive into it. This, uh, the stream in 3, 2, 1. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B&O stream today on this fine 10th of June 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, yeah, no, my week's been pretty nice, pretty chill. Um, not really <laughs> too much to say. Um, but I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting things of note. Just, just stuff to mention, stuff to say. So how about let's dive into, um, today's game, which is, uh, again, it's more of that game. So let's, uh, jump over. Uh, whoop, come on. Where is it? Here we go. Whoop. There we go. Uh, we are continuing and probably finishing Dog's Life today on stream. Um, Dog's Life is a video game. I, <laughs> I'm not sure if you know. Dog's Life is a video game. Dog's Life. Dog's Life. Um, but yeah, in the last uh, stream, uh, we went through the whole snowy area of uh, Lake Mini Miniwawa. It was a lake. There wasn't even a lake in the... In the I don't think I saw a lake. There were two mountains. One you skied down and one you just got hit by rolling rocks. Um, but yeah, here we are. Dog's Life for the PS2. And uh, we're nearly done. I mean, there's only 30 bones. So there's fewer bones at this ending part than, uh, than the rest. And we'll load the game and we'll continue on from there. Um, but yeah, no, I've had a pretty like chill week. Uh, there's not really been... Um, anything too big. Uh, I do have a handful of games that I can mention off, uh, off my backlogged that I played in the past, um, past bit, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, we hopped off a train and now we're here in, uh, Boom City. Come on, you can wake up. But it'll be pretty- oh. Oh. That's a bit weird. We got skunks. You can obviously eat the skunks. And then they poop things. And then I got flashbanged. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> Just flashbanged. Uh, uh. I have no idea what's going on with the fence there. It looks like there's some like Zed fighting going on. Pretty sure I've got it in software oh, yes. mode. If I don't, then Life whoops. Good. We'll just say imperfect emulation, four out of five. Move on with my life. I'll try my best to, to not have imperfect emulation in the future. That's always a thing. I, I try to, like, I always find emulation is very, very nice and comfy. But, oh boy, do I strive for perfection out of it. Um, I'm so glad the music just starts and stops whenever it feels like it. Like, right now. Like, just, yep, okay, yeah, you know. Where's the music gone? Where's it gone? Is the crazy taxi apparently more important than the music? Maybe. Let's head up these stairs. Oh, never mind. We're not heading up the stairs. We're gonna. I've always wanted a decent set of fangs. <laughs> no problemo, baby. Jakey has superior bone. <laughs> what is going on here? Two, one. We're just chasing him. It's just a tag. He's, he's really not tried that hard. Wow, I feel like an action hero in a console game. A, con a console game? Whoa. Help, the meta is getting too meta. Uh, so if we head over to, uh, to this guy over here. Hold on, yeah, that's some weird flickering. I don't recall that flickering happening. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna intermiss just to double check. Woo. I'm very certain. Did I, do I have it on hardware mode or do I have it on software mode? I'm very certain it's on... Yeah, that is on software mode. Very weird. Very weird. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I just gave it a redo. Uh, maybe I'm not actually this guy right now. You should be on a leash. Get <laughs> be... lost. Oh my gosh. Very aggressive, man. Very aggressive. Don't aggro the bro. Yeah, that, it's just doing that in software mode. Very odd. Well, 
Just deal with flickering shadows. An imperfect emulation, shall we? Uh, this level's not too big. Like, it looks kind of big, but really you're dealing with, um, you know, that, that area off to the left, which doesn't really go anywhere. You got this kind of building off in the distance. And then, uh, the moment you try and go anywhere, like, a block, not even a block, but like, just around the corner, that's when, uh, you'll hit the loading screen for the next map. Hello, and welcome to Talking Pussy, here on CATS Radio, the station dedicated to pretty pussies everywhere. Our special guest today is our longtime sponsor, the delightful, talented, and rather strict Miss Peaches, purveyor of pussy food for pussy people. My name is Tristram Tittletattle, and I'm here to attempt the art of humble conversation with the first lady of the Kitty Cat community. And now may I give you, with enormous enthusiasm and definite deference, the world's premier purveyor of foodstuffs to your favorite feline. Will you welcome... Tristram, get your skinny British butt in gear. I haven't got all day. But, Mum, I've not finished my obsequious Mum! Well, finish it too sweet or prepare to take the consequences. Oh, Miss Peaches, you are naughty. <laughs> <laughs> this is this game is wild. This game is like absolutely absurd. I love it. Oh, do you like how you gotta sniff the blue and then just like <laughs> just run out of here? I love the 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 New York aesthetic. It's 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 nice. There's something kind of like interesting about I I I love that I couldn't get onto the ground. Oh. I was too busy comboing between the taxi cars to, to get out. Um, but I always love the, like, New York and, and Los Angeles and various other US cities. It's just, like, so iconic when it comes to their video game representations. Like, just, just a bit of layout and art really just makes it, you know, that's New York. That's... And I know this is, this is Boom City. This isn't New York. I'm gonna sniff that just so I don't have to come back up here again. But you know what I mean? Like, there's lots of games that are like that. And it's just like, yeah, it doesn't take too much effort to actually make it all work out. Just don't get flashbanged by a skunk again and we're all good. Or I could get flashbanged by the flickering shadows. Help, the hat man is coming for me. Ooh. Ooh. I'm breaking everything, apparently, when it comes to today. Wow. Wow. We just started up, we're just breaking everything, okay. We're at 98 bones out of 125, we're making good progress. Uh, there's nothing more up there, so that's all good, let's continue on down the road. Um, so yeah, I think if we, uh, if we go a bit too far, which is, uh, how far is too far? Mm, it's probably about here, seems about right. Um, you keep going further down, you'll hit the next map. Essence of dead rat. Uh, but yeah, this game ends in a very wild way, so stick around because we'll definitely experience that ending. Because this last world isn't actually that long. Um, but it's, it's long enough that it deserved its own, its own stream, I guess. Uh, well yeah, we've got a couple of topics today. Um, how about, let me, t let me start off by talking about... Uh, a game that I played this week. So, the Humble Monthly, or the Humble Choice, or whatever it's called now, uh, came out, and one of the games in it is LEGO 2K Drive. This is a game uh, released uh, pretty much this time last year, in May last year. And uh, the, the main uh, ploy of the game is uh, that it's a LEGO driving game. That's, that's the main market appeal. Um, Looking into it just a little bit, it's like, okay, well, it's a little bit of Sonic Racing transformed because you got, like, different vehicle types depending on what, like, ground you're running on. Um, but then, uh, it, yes, I, I know how peeing works. I do it all the time. I'm doing it right now, man, you know. Like. Go. Man, yeah, what is with the shadows, I tell ya. you'll be sorry. I, I apologize for whatever shadow shenanigans and whatever are happening here. I don't recall that happening before, but maybe maybe it's just this level. These triangles are very easy to plot off. Oh, 
snap, I think he's about to claim this one because I, I goofed. I goofed! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> come on. Um, but uh, yeah, looking at LEGO 2K Drive a bit more, you can definitely feel maybe a bit of the Forza Horizon inspiration from it. Uh, it's got customizable cars which you can build out of LEGO. And it's got a, you know, I guess, a, a, a large open world map with uh, lots of different objectives and things to do. Oh, I should have done that one. Ah. I won't let you proceed, you shall not pass. Ooh. There you go. Still not too bad. Lots more bones. Oh gee, we've got more dog's life. We do have more dog's life. Yes. More dog's life. But we're in the home stretch, man. We're, we're, we're probably going to finish this one uh, today. Still got quite a handful of levels to get through. So, that'll be all good. Uh, but yeah, kids here. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that... I'm just trying to turn the camera and click. click, click. a few things to sniff around here yeah. um but yeah uh, uh, playing through it yeah i pretty much describe it as that it's it's a forza horizon Ooh, special footprint trail there's this guy hello there just say hi to him you know change your username it's chibi draws from last hey, time just in case it seems random you no that's all good i've got the um I've got the uh, the activity rock. feed, and it's got your name updated in there, so I'm like, oh, yeah. My dog lost his sense of smell when the sleeping bandit doused him in perfume. What? No wonder the sheriff's dog smells like a field of daisies. Oh, Daisy. If only I could track you down. This is the punk's bag. Sniff it so you can make out his scent and bring back any clues you I, I appreciate it. It just says swag on it. Sounds like my kind of job. So, uh, head over to the bag, and we'll get the, we'll get his, uh, footprint trail, and we're gonna, you know, hide down the trail, we'll figure out where he went. I might as well get this farm at it. Can't believe I'm actually using this mechanic. Ooh. He wandered in a circle. Hold on, hold on! <laughs> I'm cross in here. Follow the footsteps. And he would have gone inside here. So how do we get inside? I remember getting really stuck. Yeah, this is a tricky level. And and honestly, I think this part is probably the bit that like really would stump a lot of people. So you gotta climb up. Oh my gosh. Sometimes, sometimes you just jump straight over those boxes. Which uh, that camera was not, yeah. I know, I know, I'm going this way. I think the trick I find is just sometimes you can just jump up from there, but we'll keep trying a few things. Go! Nope. Come on. <laughs> just, okay, okay, just, 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 there you go. And they also put sniffing things up here, despite the fact they got a fixed camera angle. Oh, well, no, we're good, we're good. This is, uh, not the least bit perilous in first person, is it? We'll keep, we'll keep trying, but yeah, no, this, this part is just tricky as, I'll tell ya. Um, but yeah, no, LEGO, LEGO 2K Drive is basically just a Forza Horizon style game. You go around, you, you do some race events, uh, you can pick up uh, extra goodies, things like that, things of that nature. Okay. Go! And, uh... Is this meant to be lowered? Hold on, did I do this right? Might as well jump. Nope, never mind. I saw. Oh. Part of me is like, that's. 
There's meant to be a lowered entrance way in there, so I've done something out of order. I mean, I know he's in there. I thought there was like a button or a switch or something you press around here. Hmm. I'm definitely tweaking a bit, I tell ya. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm very hungry. I know where it is. Oh, sorry, Shadow. I know where it is. I know where the guy is. Don't give me the explanation again. I know where he is. Hey, Pooch. How's about you and me track down the sleeping bandit? He's a famous robber. I hate that punk. My dog lost his sense of smell when the sleeping bandit doused him in perfume. Uh, yes. No wonder the sheriff. We've, we've been through this. Like we've been through this. No. Nah. Oh, Daisy. If only I could track you down. If only I could track you down. This is the punk's bag. Sniff it so you can make out his I know. scent I know. and bring back any clues you find. I'll be waiting. Sounds like my kind of job. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to recall what, what exactly I did, but, uh, my gut feeling was, uh, this little thing up here, that's meant to drop down and be, like, an extra platform that also allows you to walk into the, um, into the area. So, we then need to, um, like, ultimately, this door is actually the last thing that opens up just to sort of let you backtrack back in. So there's gotta be something that we can use in order to open that window. Maybe there's a- oh, there's the button. I was blind, I was so blind. Look at that, wow, the exact thing I mentioned. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, uh... LEGO 2K Drive is a game that is emblematic of, uh, three different things. And I think this is, uh... Definitely, uh... It, uh how would I describe it? It's emblematic of, uh, three levels of aggression. Uh, I think this is the best way to describe it. Um, the first level of aggression is the actual game is a visual overload. Like, there is a lot of stuff happening um, in this game. Um, certainly, uh, if I... Ooh. There we go. We're in. Cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now it's uh, box pushing. Uh, so we've got various boxes. We can push and pull them all over the shop. I'm gonna pull this one to be quite close, and this should allow us to jump over here. But there's actually, you can sort of see there's three, you know, exits here. Uh, you won't be able to jump up onto any of these boxes from here as well. You have to come from over this side. But I know, Jake is so hungry. We should be good to just, yeah, dude, like... Jake's really good. Oh. <laughs> Come, you you want to get down from there? You want to get down? Uh, you, yep. Nope. Nope. We're good. No, we're good. We're good. Wander down this hallway, and you get nothing. You lose. <laughs> There's nothing down this hallway. It was all a waste of time. And I just jumped the whole distance. Why not? Uh, I believe. Is it the middle one or is it the right one that continues on? I'll just take the ladder. It really does look like maybe the middle one does. Okay. Well... <laughs> you know, the dogs can leap tall buildings in a single bound. That's what it is. Um... Yeah, I... With... With LEGO 2K Drive's aggression, I think the, the one thing is that... It, it's impressive in some ways. Uh, when you get to do, like, some missions where it's like, Oh, you know, you, you fight off, uh, zombies. He is very strong. This box probably weighs like a hundred kilos. Or it's just completely empty. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just jump this in one bound. Mm, probably not. <laughs> Let's push another box. The music is very, very grooving to, you know, this. <laughs> um... There's definitely, yeah, okay, it's it's impressive when you've got those missions where you have to basically rescue people from a bunch of zombies, skeletons, or vampires. I think it's like three different missions that all play out the same. Um, but the those like skeletons, for example, it's like, yeah, you know, they're all like individual Lego people that exist in this, uh, you know, scene. They keep spawning in and 
you ran through a lot of them and they, you know, they have all the physics applied to them and all that jazz. Lots of stuff going on. Um, this also goes both ways though, where sometimes you'll get, this is a bone by the way. Uh, how many bones are we dealing with on this level by the way? I think the answer is, uh, station, seven, seven bones. And we've already got four, haven't we? Yeah. Although I've got all the, all the sent ones, so... Actually, I think I've still got them <laughs> chilling in the... Chilling in the bowl. I'm gonna hope this is a good enough angle. I can just do the jump. There you go, some wild jumps. Let's wander down this corridor. This is exactly how buildings are in New York are made. Now, this is a bit of a curious kind of thing. This guy is chilling here and he's sleeping. And your goal is to go very slowly around this room. Don't worry. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to. Yes. Very slowly around this room. Why? 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 And then the camera's going to keep moving on you as well. And you just gotta. You just gotta slowly get around. Slowly get around and see if you can get this guy's mask or sunglasses. And then you're gonna casually. Actually, can you activate that switch right now? No. You cannot activate the switch. Okay, we'll just wander out. Wander out. Ooh. And we're gonna hold on wherever the where's the door gone? Here we go. We're all good. It is scary. It is scary. I really hope you could like jump off from there, but it's okay. Because we're just wandering all the way back. It's very scary when the ground flickers. With this guy's mask, we should be able to wander back over to this lad. The sleeping bandit's mask. This makes my day, Pooch. Gee, uh, if he wakes up, you uh, basically reappear. Yeah, I think all. Well, are you? I think you're out on the ground. Show you got to do all the platforming in the outside region again, which is just annoying. So now we wander over to him. Punk bolted the door from the inside. How can I get in? Looks like a job for Detective Dog. And at this point, this is when you control nice the other dog. And then you have to go through the platforming again. <laughs> oh, that was a, that's a weird angle to be in. Okay. <laughs> um... But yeah, the aggression on the uh, on the UI, or sorry, on the on the um, presentation for Lego 2K Drive also goes the other way because uh, this game aggressively has so many like doodads and dials and numbers and things like that. As you keep going up, you got like an experience system, you got a battle pass system. You need that? I don't need that platform. Uh, you got a battle pass system. You have a um, like all these uh, the bricks are unlocking and stuff like that. You're making progress towards all these. Uh, that is not the right doorway. You just jump the wrong one, man. Just his momentum keeps him just going to the other, like, to the other side as well. He doesn't even, like, stop. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he's, done, he's done it. He's, he's made it. He's made it. He's too fast. So now, literally the same thing again. Why, 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 why? Why, why, Actually, is it the same thing? Right, maybe you go for the floor. Oh. Hey! Where's my oh, sleeping oh, oh, mask? Oh. Where did he go? Never mind, I was about to get shot, apparently. Oh uh, no, I'm I'm actually wow. dead. How'd I end up here? I actually just got shot. Where's the dog? Where's he gone? Bro, he's dead. 
you know where he went? He's gone. Oh no, we we have shot a dog already. Where would he have actually gone? I'm curious. Either that or he's still kind of on the inside, and I'm now I've got to I've got to jump in. Best viewers on. Wait, what? No, those are the worst viewers. They 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 don't even use full link URLs. They just use link shorteners. They're not the best viewers. The best oh, viewers are yummy. right here. Poop funeral. Yes. Well, he's not out here, so yeah, I think he I think he's just there on the inside. I love that, like, not Doppler effect. Oh, he made it back out. He made it back out. <laughs> He's okay. He's fine. <laughs> what a what a strange, uh, strange turn of events. Yes, we're not killing any dogs in this game. Hopefully. <laughs> Whoa, let's talk about this first. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely, definitely LEGO 2K Drive is very visceral on the, on the visuals. Now let's get into uh, the aggressive number two. Aggressive number two is the writing. Which is not, it's not like all unpalatable, but it's very, very hit and miss. Like 50% of the time it's like, hey, you know, it's all right, or it gets a chuckle out of me. And the other 50% of the time, I really wanted to, sh to stop. I really want this game to just, like, shut up. There's a degree of self-awareness. The game knows that various characters are annoying. But if they're annoying, it doesn't matter that they know it's, they're annoying. They're still annoying. Nope. I know, I know, I could arrange the boxes to be slightly better. Don't need it. We're good. Oh. oh my god, there's a massive lever and that's apparently not what I can interact with. Okay. Very slowly. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of mechanisms down there. Here we go, here we go. Grab the bit, if you can pull it, then you're good. You can't do this as Jake, his jaw isn't strong enough. You wait here, the suspect may be armed. Alright, here he goes. What do you mean, may be armed? He definitely is. Oh! Hey! Where's my sleeping bandit mask? No! They got him! Take that, Sheriff! No! They got him! What the? Oh no, he just missed. Oh! <laughs> Please, don't shoot. Wow, that was a crack shot. That was a crack shot and a half. Thanks, Pooch. Here, this is an official police dog bone. An official police dog bone, not the fake that kind. Has a dangerous accomplice who's guarding their bag of loot. Sniff around and see if you can track him down. So it's a really long <laughs> kind of quest for- No, oh, he's about to drive over it! I love the dog in the passenger seat as well. Oh no, he is- Oh, he's compass too! He's just- Ah... Uh, everyone's got bones, man. Oh, I mean, everyone's got dogs in this game, I guess. Everyone likes their dogs. Maybe it's just like, ah, oh, there's too many dogs. I gotta- I gotta treat them. Listen, if- if we had a society where, like, all the dogs oh. roamed around and just helped out solve crimes like this, yeah, I'd probably make make sense that, yeah, there'd be, you know, I'd have bones all over. So, uh, with this door open, we can now walk right in, and I'm, like, 5% sure that there's sense? Are there any sense in this room? I don't think there actually are. There's not really any reason to come in via this back way. Other than if you wanted to avoid the jumps from earlier. I think there's more... All the scents are just, uh, over the train yard itself. Yeah, probably are. 
we should be done with this level at this point then. I don't know what's up with his nose. He's talking about his nose. We're not, we're not going back to Lake Miniwawa. We're not doing it. You can't make me. Uh, can I jump that way? Yes. Onto the train. But uh, yeah, there's all these boxes over on this side. And uh, this is where all this uh, last minute purple... Purple stank is. Mm. And a pizza. Very, very nice. Um... Yeah, the writing is so aggressive in, in LEGO 2K Drive. Um, I'm actually impressed by how much... So if I need to hear this with the English language for the first time. Oh yeah, dude, I haven't even like prepped that up. I, I should get that get that tuned in just before um, we fully uh, close out. So let's uh, climb up here. This will be a bit weird, but we're doing this in first person. You should be able to climb on a lot of these boxes and get on over to the other side. Well, not the other side, just on top. And this looks like, it, you know, you'd be out of bounds, but it's like, no, 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 we put stinks up here. This is a normal area that you're meant to get up to. Just onto this roof. Why not? Um, but yeah, no, the, the writing is super aggressive. It, there's a lot of writing in the game. I actually was surprised that, like, every single race has... Uh, its own kind of rival character who's like got like some kind of theme or something to them and uh, they uh, they all also have like uh, companion AI Ooh, drivers that all uh, you know follow that theme there's one where it's like um, was it there's a there's an alien called Hugh man and uh, he's got like just lots of other like sweet. Basically, FBI agents as, as uh, like, companions. Um, you got, like, uh, what's another one? There's a guy who runs, like, a like a taco shop or something. Um, and uh, everyone else is just, like, other food store runners. Gotta have my nicotine break. <laughs> That's all good. There we go. This should be the last bone of the level, and we can just wander into the next one. There's no backtracking involved in this world, so don't worry about it. It's just the two instances. These guys are full stuck. It's just the two instances that we had in the the previous, uh, the previous world. Oh, my favorite. And there we go. One hundred and two. Lovely seven bones. What's this like album art? Kind of like, just moody guy, moody guy. Let's wander into the next level. The next level. There we go. You see what I mean? It just kind of activates on you. Like, oh, okay, sure. It's raining as well. The music's definitely grooving still. This is the park. It's like Central Park, except it's just like a, a singular dog park. Um, pretty much this park is the whole level. Like, it doesn't stretch too far and you're sort of already picking up on everything around. Bone. See, there's a, My there's a bone here. Another bone. Um, there's this. <laughs> just, just, that's a music note. Oh, I'll throw it down just so. Thanks for the follow, Sky. Appreciate it. I, I wish I had like a welcome to the club kind of kind of message, but I don't. It's just, it's just thank, it's a thank you from the bottom of my heart. Which I'm the king of bones. The king of bones. Taking candy from a baby. Three, two, one, go. How hard would it be to catch up to this person? Oh, she's going this way. Oh, I get her. <laughs> Just pounce on her. All right, now ah, I can control her, but my brain in another dog's body. Ugh. I don't have a great use for it just yet, but good to know. Good to know. So let's come up to this guy. It's another guitarist. And he's got hey, blue hair dude. for some I've reason. I've like lost all my sheets of music. Lousy wind blew him away. Can you find him for me? That, his that hat is just like literally so New York. Like, wicked. 
wicked. I have a very bad feeling about this. But like, be cool, little dude. Boom City can be real nasty. The dogs around here keep like disappearing. <laughs> Weird. How strange. How very odd, mysterious, and curious. So, uh, um, but number three for uh for the aggression of Lego Two K Drive oh, is its microtransaction that. policy. Now, uh, in the humble monthly, uh, they have the. Uh, previously $150 edition of the game. This came with basically what they refer to as the Season Pass, which came with uh, all four DLC releases. Um, I think there's an extra edition on top that you don't Whoa, get, and that's that just a bunch of extra cosmetics. Um, but uh, it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's the full game. And I th think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't played enough to know if it's like the whole game, including DLC, but... Um, Let's pass this off hey, to him. My music, my music bro. Thanks, little dude. Thanks, dude. The name <laughs> is Jake, you doofus. Not little dude. Nah, man, he's my little dude. My D O G E. Uh. <laughs> it's kind of confusing that there's like red sniffs in this level, and then like. Kinda red sniffs. Whoa! More music! You are truly wicked, little dude. There's three more pieces, though. I would love if this is just a developer, like, doing a few chords. I love the vibe, though. Even if, like, the regular level music is not this at all. No problem. We're gonna have to do another digging game. Oh no! Bone power. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the microtransactions are kind of ridiculous. So not only did the regular version of the game cost ninety dollars, uh, Australian by the way, just not US. Um, but you could probably go on SteamDB and find the historical prices because these did change. Um, but uh, the uh, the yeah, the base game cost ninety dollars. This game took me about seven hours to beat, and there's probably a bunch of collectibles that I just... Like, oh my gosh, there's so many collectibles of just like little tiny like pieces of money or like weird little tiny trinkets. None of it really means anything. You just get a thing saying, oh yeah, you did all of them. Good on you. Nice. Um, but there's no markers on the map for any of them or any kind of hints that you've even done many of them other than... There's a number. There's a... <laughs> you've done... 144 out of 250 uh, money grabs in this, like, area. It's just that. Um, so that's really the only thing I haven't really done in the base game, and I'm not too sure how much of it is base game, how much of it is DLC, whatever. Um, but what, what the game intended for the regular missions took me about seven hours in total. It's not a really long game. Um, it's alright. It's not too bad for, for that price, but Woo! Handstand over the... Over the... The dug up lawn, the dug up park. And we get a bone in there. A bone in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> Yummy. You, you know, his music didn't even end up that far. It's just everywhere else in the park. This guy's just lazy. Thanks, little dude. Only two more left. Go for it. Go for it, dude! Just gonna keep giving him some more music. Sweet! One more piece would be awesomely wicked! Are these all individual pieces, or are they pieces of... I don't know. Oh. Now we have... The Duel! This is actually the last uh, beg move that we have to learn as well. Which I've been not using at all. <laughs> Hi there. Then you poop. It's now or never, Knucklehead. Nice. Um. But now the microtransactions get a bit worse. Okay, so it's $90 Australian for the base game, $150 for the version with the season pass, and then $180 for this fancy special edition. 
This, at some point, they dropped the price down, I think uh, a couple of months ago. They dropped them by $50 each. Um, so now it's 40 Australian. Uh, what, what would the math be? 100 Australian and 130 Australian. Uh, so poop, down, down, up, up, and then here we go. <laughs> that, that is now the know. last beg move, by the way. That's a <laughs> tremendous move. There he goes. There he goes. But yeah, that's it. That's all five beg moves. Um, so I guess in theory you can... Yep, see ya. <laughs> see ya. I learned from the greats. I can pop that final move off on various people. Like, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it on this guy. He's gonna be impressed. Hi there, man. Hi there. Call the dog catcher. Here I go. Give me food. Dumb dog. He thinks he's cute. Wow. Call the dog catcher. <laughs> wow. My talents are wasted on this mere mortal. What an aroma. Check out here, this last bit of music actually went over someone's fence. He had to actually put an effort to find that one. He's just playing Sweet Home Alabama. Alright, little dude! I'm gonna write a song about you. I'll call it, The Awesomely Wicked Dog. Yeah. <laughs> You do that, Pooh Brain. I'm Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm off to find Daisy. Something tells me she's not too far away. <laughs> great, great throw, man. Great throw. Oh. We're at 105. Let's keep wandering around here. So, if you look in this direction, here is a... Uh, well... Dog pound. You got this guy chilling here. Hey! Come here, you. Oh, time, time to skedaddle. See ya. This one's probably the most involved to run away, or is it? Maybe not. I'm tricking him. I'm tricking him. He can't figure it out. He can't figure it out. He can't figure out what a hedge is. And then he decides to just read his newspaper forever. Hey, it's that oh, I did- Hey, hey, hey! I didn't mean to leave this level. This is actually the way to the end of the game. Um, there is another level off to the side that I just didn't go down, but uh... Spoilers. It is scary. The red sky. Wayne, I'm thinking of opening up a hypoallergenic dog grooming parlor. What? So people like you can enjoy playing with doggies. Hey guys, you're late. You're late. <laughs> Sorry, we had some difficulties. Miss Peaches is in a very bad mood. Worse than usual? Oh yeah. When I brought in my load, she blew her top. Said Boom City dogs were filthy. Said she wanted a nice, clean, Clarksville dog to be the first to go in the big machine. The big machine. I think she wants to hurt them nice doggies, Wayne. Oh, for pity's sake, Dwayne. Stop sniveling. Would you care for a tissue, Wayne? They're extra soft. I hate this job. <laughs> Me when I have to make a living in order to afford 2024 housing. Also, woo, they're just, they're just caged up in the middle of like, <laughs> freaking Doom 2 level 15 right here. <laughs> There's a bunch of keys lying around. I have I'm, a very bad I'm going to completely this. ignore this section, by the way. Uh, because, uh, oh, I love the camera leaving. Hi, sorry, no, I'm bailing. I'm bailing. We're going back to the park. This is for a hot moment because I haven't. Well, not longer than a hot moment, but I haven't. 
Seriously, it just it just triggers going over there much sooner than you'd expect. I think I'll sit this one out. What does this what does the graffiti on this say? What's that? Does it just say owl? Owl the edge? Is that it? Okay. You can see this is glowing. You know why? Because there's a oh, tastes great. There's a bone in there. Oh my gosh. Um. Now, on top of the the uh, absurd pricing for the actual game, uh, there exists an in-game paid currency, which, from my experience, I think has been entirely like removed. Like it effectively is just a proxy currency that just th then goes to the in-game currency. That being said, the in-game currency is acquired so slowly after you've done the main objectives of the story that mm, it might actually be necessary. Uh, the most expensive of the paid currency options uh, gets you quite a bit of in-game money. I think uh, if you were to buy it, it's $82.45 Australian, and you can buy basically about 10 skins. Uh, even fewer of the more expensive ones. I have no idea how these are worth like eight bucks. It's just a bunch of Lego virtual Lego pieces stuck together. I mean, they're cool designs. I'm actually kind of impressed. I, again, again, I thought this guy would actually mean something, but no, he's just here. Other than these are some massive reclining chairs. Like, I've never seen actually reclining chairs. This was like a big thing in the early 2000s. <laughs> People would buy their leather recliners. Um, maybe it's always been a thing. Um, but it's like, I've never seen, like, ones where it's like, it's for two people. Like, what, what if two different people have two different, like, levels of comfort? They both have to deal with it. Reclining- I, I remember my dad had a reclining chair and it just was, like, so poorly, like, ballasted. It was just, like, if you lent on it the wrong way, it would just, like, tip all the way back. It's only intended for people of a certain height, I guess. Well, I think everything points to, uh, this person. So let's go help out this person. Hi, right, sorry, traffic. Hi there. Hi. My kittens have run away. Can you pick them up and put them back inside my apartment? I'm too slow to catch them. Listen, that dress. That dress. Can we comment on that? That is terrifying. This is like the... It's like the freaking, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? This is... This is, a uh, Something to witness. Oh my gosh. Well, we got three of these reclining chairs. We got a TV and, uh... I guess a cat bowl. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting challenge, I guess. Uh, Jake himself is not really fast enough to deal with this. So you're gonna have to switch to the other dog here. Oh, come on. No, no, no. no, no. There you go. This person's a bit faster. Um, and then, uh, it's your goal to basically eat the cats. You gotta eat- oh, pick them up. And then, uh, pop them inside the building. Um, the cats will then decide to slowly get confused and then slowly try to crawl out of the building and this woman does nothing to stop it. She just watches them walk right out. So, you gotta basically be this guy because he's quick- or this dog because, uh, I assume- is this like a female dog? Maybe? Can't tell which one's a male and which one's a female. Especially in this game. You know what I mean? Um, so you just gotta do your best, start putting them inside, and, uh, if they start wandering a bit outside, then you just pull them back in. Yeah, I guess the most annoying part is trying to find, like, the furthest ones. Especially because you don't get your smell of vision as this dog. Where has that kitten gone? There'd be two more as well, there's five cats total. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to Talking Pussy. This guy again. This guy again. Um, but yeah, the microtransactions I think are mostly gone. But that being said, you've still got the battle passes, which... Um, I guess come with the DLC, comes with the season pass, but it's like <sighs> once you're once you're actually doing stuff in the game, you're just constantly bombarded with like, hey, but oh my neck, <laughs> um, you're constantly bombarded with, oh you gotta you know 
check out your season pass and check out your your, your expansion pass and that some content may be part of extra things and when you're prompted on the main menu it's like how do you even get into the game story itself it's so hard to like it's tucked away there's a tiny little play button that's not the play with friends button because you can't play the story with friends but you can play it in split screen confusing i know um and then uh there's a play with everyone button and the play with everyone button doesn't have the story mode either it's just its own thing and you're prompted with the store and you're prompted with the battle pass and you're prompted with the the gallery where you vote on other people's stuff um all of it is just kind of like man i am like exhausted of that kind of content i tell you um even if you can look past it and see the actual game that they have designed hiding in the the shadows um it's just kind of absurd that like you got to deal with all this stuff now I read the terms and conditions of every single one of these games that I play because you have to agree to a massive terms and conditions before you uh, start playing LEGO 2K Drive. In this terms and conditions, uh, the two things I always note is... Uh, my neck. Um, the two things I always note is uh, what data do they collect and your opt-out policies and also what are you actually allowed to do with the software that you have apparently paid for. Um, for the latter, uh, apparently nothing. You're not even allowed to run the game on a VM, apparently. They, they actually say, oh, if you run the game on a VM, you are, you are cheating us of a thing. If they're all on the carpet, it's okay. My it counts. Hero. Now I can feed them. Did you know that Miss Peachy is about to launch a new kind of cat food? I heard that on the radio. The radio? Wow. Oh, <laughs> weak throw. Wahoo! At last! I'll give you points for trying. Uh, I think we just got to deal with that one little building that I saw over on the... I don't know, I'll call this the north side. What direction is the sun at? There is no sun. We're in a city. Um, but I, I always know that kind of stuff. Um, it's time for me, Tristram there's apparently nothing in here. To welcome you. In that case, where are we dealing with the remaining sense? Oh, there's one over here. It's just on a bench. That's totally a Sweet Home Alabama. I, I, I don't care, that's Sweet Home Alabama. There's one more. He's really sniffing around here. He's feeling it. It's it's in this direction. He's really feeling it. Man, was it really all the way over here? Ah, oh, there it is. I think this should put us off. This should put us off. Put it. Put us on a. We've got all the bones in this level because there's two chilling in there. We've already picked up five. So yeah, that's all the bones in this this level. <laughs> the suspension. Oh. Oh my gosh, man. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Call me gimme, George gimme, Russell. Gimme. He's, he's, he is gimming. Call me George Russell because I'm just <laughs> bouncing on the curves. Jeez. So head off in this direction. You finally got the last level. The Boom City Center. Um... It's, it's just more level. Although this has some kind of annoying tasks, but it's not too annoying. You can actually smash these, like, walls down. And there may actually be sense just hidden in them, so I'm gonna have to check them all out at some point. And of course... It's gonna be bones everywhere. Bone-tastic. Bone-tastic. There you go. Uh, but now, the part of the, the policy that I thought was kind of, like, curious was, uh, one part saying that, uh, like, okay, so what, what is the data collection parts? And, uh, to be honest, it's actually not that bad. Like, it's, it's pretty much the normal affair of what I'd expect from an online game, which is, okay, well, we can tell when we, you use our servers and we can get some, like, you know, rough like hardware capabilities this this guy is speedy as as well so we'll save him for a little bit um uh we could do some little hardware surveys 
Um, we know when you're connected in, we're, we, you know, obviously we store the user-generated content. Um, so in this case, it's just like anything you upload to the uh, service. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's normal. They apparently don't really, uh, they have some things where it's like the account gets like your date of birth and like that kind of stuff. Um, but the main reason why they ask for the date of birth is because, uh, obviously if you're under the age of 18, uh, then, uh, you know, the laws on what, uh, data they can actually store about you is very different to when you are above the age of 18, where apparently they won't care. Um, in particular as well, they say, yeah, if you're under the age of 18, uh, you need a parent's consent. And if you're under the age of 13, well, they know, they don't knowingly store information about, you, uh, people who are under the age of 13. Now to that, I would say... Who is the market for LEGO 2K Drive? I know this is a bit of like a ha got him kind of thing, but... This is a bar, can't you tell? How did he do it? Well, easy, we just walk in and ask him. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Your days are numbered, dog. There he goes. He's chasing us again, because why not? Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it's such a weird feature of, like, having to run away from him, because it's not like it goes on for too long. Like, all I did was I just held up. It's good enough. But, uh, sure. Um, but yeah, who is the market for LEGO 2K Drive? Because this game is definitely for kids, right? I'm not going nuts. This is, this is totally a game for kids, but it's got all these, um, you know, this, uh, people will call them predatory. I'm just going to, like, just say, yeah, like, it's got all these microtransactions and season pass and online elements. And all this stuff that's like, <laughs> no I don't know if that's really, like, meant to be for kids. Someone should evaluate and go, hi, yeah, like... What is the point in advertising, like, paid cars? And there's probably tons of mobile games that are exactly like this, um, as well. And it's like, yeah, like, there's been zero crackdown of that kind of behavior. Especially for once I actually did go through a ratings board. Like, I don't know, I, I'm sort of of the opinion, not for kids. Not, don't, don't market, like, extra transactions and stuff for kids. Because, uh, I'm go what am I jumping over? What? <laughs> what did I just jump onto and then... I don't even know, man. Um... I'm definitely of the opinion of, uh, and, and as a kid who... Uh, sorry, as, as, as someone who, as a kid, I, uh, did totally oh, steal yeah. a parent's credit card I and paid three bucks for a month of Toontown Online, unknowing to my parents' consent. Now, I, it's only three bucks. It's not the end of the world. But, oh boy, were they livid. Now, imagine if the kid can accidentally spend hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars that is where i'm like this gets kind of insidious because in the past it's and i know i know toy advertising has always been very you know market so heavily to the kids that basically the parents can't say no but it's like yeah i don't know i feel like there's a certain barrier of when the kids can actually just yoink and and you know shell out the money and I know there's lots of Fortnite examples of this happening, and I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, like... I guess my di the difference, though, is that Fortnite is a T-rated game, at least. There's a, there's a little bit of that. But... To go back to this one, let's just use this one as, a, as an example. Like, legitimately, if they're not allowed to collect information about people who are under the age of 13, but, like, your whole game is, like, you gotta h hook up a 2K account to, to, like, start playing it. It wouldn't let me continue until I made the account. Partner of mine. Where is that? meant to be here two hours ago. <laughs> two hours. The well, I capture well, if you come up to this guy, the sooner I can look for Daisy. Hi there. Don't come any closer, or you'll be. Sorry. Oh, I'm wow. dead. Weird trip, man. Weird trip. <laughs> so this is where uh. 
this guy come- oh, wherever he's gone. Where has he gone? He's gone somewhere. This is probably the most, like, obscure dog, you know, I guess section- or all dog sections, the whole game's a dog section. But, um, oh, the most obscure, like, section is a different dog in the entire game, I feel. Um, eventually, once I- once I find him. I like how it just rains more in this, like, part of the city. Oh my gosh, come back! Come back! There's like barely any people to like beg for food as well. Oh, he's coming around the outside. Okay, I'll catch him. There you go. Okay, so what you're meant to do is that you're meant to control this guy. And then, uh... Try to spot him, spot him on the higher level, and then start barking. And he'll follow you on the like on the underneath level. You'll see that his platform ends at some point. And at this point, you then try to run around really quick, run up the stairs. Don't get dizzy. If you can run fast enough, you'll grab the bag. If you grab the bag, you're good. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> you just have to know that, like, apparently barking makes him move. Well, this is part two of this case, so that's all good. Smart pooch. That's the loot, okay? Wait here while I arrest that unlucky punk. <laughs> arrest? Oh my gosh, here he goes, here he goes. Just don't send that darn dog in again. A dumb dog. Well, at least this one ended a bit less uh, dramatically. Pooch, you are now an honorary police dog. Here's an official bone. The highlight of my distinguished career. Another official bone. Hey, at least it didn't drive over my bone this time, but oh boy, is that some shocking three-point turns. Whoa. You got the whole road to yourself as well, and you still met- well, granted, that is a very weird, like, 90 degree turn. I've never seen a road, like, just- just kink, like, so hard like that. Wow. Bones. Who could live without them? I do like bones. Uh, there are seven bones in this level as well, so we're already at two. I got a bunch of sniffing and stuff to do, so still got a bit more to, to go for. Uh, and some of the purple scents are up here as well. And also some incredible aliasing. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, so yeah. Now, I don't, I don't want to be like crazy prudish and say like certain game ideas can or cannot exist because uh, my personal gripes with Season Pass and microtransaction spam are for the most part, personal gripes. Um, when they're advertised for kids, I start getting a bit mm -hmm. But, you know, I guess it, it really depends. Uh, this is one of those time trial ones, so uh, we're gonna have to good luck this one. This one's kind of annoying as well, because I'm gonna, you know, I lose my health, I'm going really slowly. Just keep using your, your sense of follow, because, uh, there you go. It's in- it's in the walls, literally. And kind of annoyingly you'll see, like, oh, okay, like, there's that there. And then I'm pointing up this way. I've just gotta ride this up. And then jump inside the window, because one of these for the time trial is inside the building. But this is the last, like, uh, main level of the game, basically, because we'll start getting into, you know, the, the boss rush direction. Boss rush? It's not really much of a boss rush, but you know what I mean. Come on, get in there. Oh, yes. Smells like a basset hound I once knew. Hey, you wanna, you wanna jump out? You wanna get out of the I building? Have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, oh, I'm in the ceiling. I'm in the ceiling. I'm in the ceiling. I couldn't get down because uh, this is very, very irritating. I tell you, come on, just 
Just jump it. Just, just not that one. Just, just up here. No, 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 no. Like just up there, onto the, up the, up the. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is particularly the one that I don't really, I don't really long for. And you lose all your health. I mean, you could just write it down. You don't have to be impatient like I am. I wonder if there's a street pizza that maybe I can, like, top up on. Or I could just beg to this guy. Hi! Dumb dog. He thinks he's cute. What? <laughs> Begging never works. Begging never works. Street pizza. My favorite. Heck yeah. I do enjoy a good street pizza. Um, but yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, LEGO 2K Drive is just like, is, is a kind of goofy game. Um, uh, I, it's, it's not like the worst play in the, uh, in the Humble, but uh, it's a, it's a tough sell for value. And it's kind of weird as well, because it's like, if this was like back in the day, I'd probably just go, oh, you know, like, you know, it's it's just a fairly ordinary racing game and that's it. But now we're in a world where, you know, you have so many things that you can, um, you know, glance back at. So many older games that you can, you know, relive or, or experience for the first time. Like this game, for example. Um, you can just acquire it through various means and play it. And it's like, you're doing that instead of buying a brand new game, because old software is still old software. It's like software itself doesn't age. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure one of these was up here. Software doesn't really age. I mean, it sort of does a little bit, you know, things run on older hardware, but we have like emulation and other kinds of things that really, you know, make it a lot easier. Um, and even then it's just like, you know, how many games run on PC? You know, like, you could legitimately find an old copy of LEGO Races and do the exact same playthrough that I did a few years ago. And, uh, like, that'd be fine. That that works fine. I could, that's a PC game. That's not even like it's for a console that's out of, you know, out of condition. It's like, no, it's all good. I'm gonna really struggle getting back out here. I gotta do it in first person as well. Oh, there we go. Alright, I know I'm running out of seconds, but I'm pretty sure I can make it. Where's he going? What? All the way over there? Maybe I should have done it last, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to eat my two bones then. Man, this time trial, I tell ya. We'll get there, we'll get there. I got there's another little thing to climb up, but you know, there's no more stinks. In fact, I don't even think there's any stinks. Oh, I call it if I just flip the tab. The page over. Yeah, the dog pound doesn't have any anything to smell. I think we're running out of things to smell in this level. Finally, the first person shenanigans is over. Simply the best. Or not over yet, because I still gotta sniff the things, but So anyway, uh first thing we do is gamble. Again. Cause why not? Heck yeah! Lemon! Sweet! Uh, that is not what lemons taste like. Believe I lost again. So you just pick up one of his cards. Hey, give that back! That's my lucky deck! Not another bad hand! I must be losing my, <laughs> my lucky deck. An extra deck of cards? Why, you lousy cheat. These cards bring me good luck, that's all. They'll bring you a punch in the mouth, you rotten liar. <laughs> oh I'll my tell you gosh. What, uh, let's have a nice drink and talk this over. Well, 
okay. I never could resist a free drink. <laughs> this is my chance to help myself to the money. We'll help you out, Mario. Here you go. It's like a I'm wad of cash. You are a good dog after all. I am sorry for my rudeness. Please take this. Take I'm starting this. to have quite an impressive collection of bones. Hey, how's it going, Zand? Jake loves bones. Jake loves bones. He does love bones. Is he going to say it for a third time? Simply the best. Oh, he doesn't love bones today. All right, in that case, I think that's six. So all we got to do is that sniffing <laughs> race, and then we're good. We're out of here. No more sniffing. So all this talk about uh, being disappointed about newer games, I don't know. Uh, I've always wondered, where did that Munchlax sprite come from? Uh, originally when I was uh, much, much younger, I stole the sprite from uh, Cerebi.net. Uh, I only found out at a much later date that this was basically like a mock-up sprite from a Korra Korra magazine. Um, of way before Pokemon, um, you know, uh, Diamond Pearl were announced. This would have been, or even Pokemon Dash. Actually, this would have been like, you know, before Munchlax was. When was Munchlax first shown off? I'm pretty sure it was in the anime briefly, in like early stuff, and then Pokemon Dash in late 2004 uh, had a Munchlax in it. Yeah, is that there? And then you can go back. <laughs> it's Ah, uh, this one's out of, I don't know, so yeah. But yeah, no, this is, a uh, yeah, it's probably, it could, I'm not sure if it actually is official, whether it's just like a, a very, very, you know, uh, interesting mock-up. Uh, cause Munchlax, like, rarely stands up, and he's not that, like, slim. I, maybe it's from description, or something. They're like, oh, is a baby Snorlax, so he's, like, cute like this. And it's like... Yeah, I don't know if he's quite like this. Is it? Ah, oh, I'm missing one. That's not up there. I wanted to get the other one before I went up. Maybe it was up the thing. Hold on, we're gonna have to check up. We're gonna have to check it. Oh, it totally is. There is one up here. I think we're good. I think we might have this. Because it'll be easy to get down from here. And then I'm going to have to bolt it. I'm going to have to bolt it. I don't think I'm going to be... Nah, nah. I'm not going to be able to get in in time. Dang it. Once more. I have bunches of... Uh... <laughs> I was going to say hand-drawn. It's like hand-drawn, but I use paint. Uh, but like various various old, uh, alternate versions of this Munchlax sprite. So right now you can see I've got uh, my Pajama Sam variety um, on uh, my YouTube and uh, Twitch uh, profile pics. And I'll put it on the stream. I should put it on the stream. Um, but yeah, I've only got it there just like as like a mild gameplay watermark. It's not really there for like any big purpose. But it's just because I do know that there's apparently, like, a real big problem with, like, various, um, like, larger YouTubers. They just take gameplay from, like, other, you know, lower size channels and things like that if they look good quality. Uh, do you remember Rabid Fun? I do- oh, Helping Hands? Oh my gosh, man, you are flashing back. I do remember Helping Hands. Do I have the file for it? Probably. I'm gonna say probably. It's, like, I, I have kept all my old, like, Sibelius stuff, so it's probably in there, somewhere. I'm not particularly <laughs> proud of my old Sibelius stuff, but, uh, I don't know, when I was younger, it was like, you know, you're encouraged as a kid to, like, oh, you know, like, he's got an interest in, like, making music, and it's, like, that. I'm glad that I broke my legs. And I'm still concerned because it's like, why am I at 10? Did I just miss one along the way? Because now I'm back to this one. 
um, searching for the song. Yeah, no, it's 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 literally just my own like Sibelius composition. Um, I may have put my real name in the Rabbit Fun video, so shout out to that one. It's not like a crazy mystery my real name, but it is just like yeah, I I don't do that that actively these days. Whoa, let's talk about this. Friend. I am stuck here apparently. I can't even turn around. Are you kidding? I am not kidding. No way. I'm a dog. Not hi. A dog hi. This will be kind of tragic because I haven't like saved. <laughs> that, that that was a bit terrifying. This whole room is cursed. Because it's like nearly impossible to get out. But oh boy. That's four. Yeah. <laughs> you and you and me both. Like I was in four. But it's just like man. It's been ages. You, I... Is a is a mild spoiler for what I was about to do. I next week I was gonna play on uh, Donkey Kong Country on stream because um, yeah, all that like rabid fun stuff. That was what <laughs> was the original uh, inspiration of uh, making the YouTube channel. Was uh, all the YouTube poops I'd watched as a very young lad, and I thought I could make my own. And I literally had no experience doing anything. I just Windows Movie Maker. I threw in a video file. Um, that I got off like some website of the the rabid trailer and uh, I put it in and it broke the video into that, four different that. files and I just used that because I didn't know that you could just split videos I know right? it's like I made the whole first rabid fun I didn't even know what splitting a video was um, so good uh, I feel like it's probably a bit overkill making like however many of them. Did I do like two parts for ten? I I always had the feeling of like no one would watch eleven, but people would watch ten. And if you keep doing ten again and again, that's what I thought. So I did ten multiple times. Um, but yeah, I did have a. There was one other um, like actual YouTube poop, I guess. Um, I did one of the Mama Luigi episode, which is like vintage. That's classic YouTube poop territory. Uh, I don't really think it was really of, of too much note, but I did try more on that one. So I'm, I'm a bit more proud of that, but I'm also like, I'm not, I like, when it comes to like old YouTube content, I'm actually not like that ashamed of like any of the old stuff I've made. Cause it's just like, hey, you know, like that was what I was interested in at the time and uh, all that made me a better video editor and, and all that, like, you know, it's useful skills. Um, I don't have any ad revenue on the old stuff, but the original Rabbit Fun still gets the majority of my YouTube channel traffic, so it's impossible to <laughs> it's, it's impossible to get good metrics from YouTube because it keeps thinking I'm like I just make Rabbit videos even though I don't. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think there's a good charm to that kind of stuff. Just you know, old YouTube. Like uh, it's it's such a shame. There are so many newer YouTube channels that like exists oh, oh sorry not YouTube a lot a lot of instances where people go back to like old YouTube videos and it's just like they're all deleted or private or stuff like that and I'm like do I like the only things I I've actually unlisted and they're unlisted if you still got a link you'll find them but like um I have unlisted stuff that's just like uh, a bit too personally identifying I guess and I know I said like my name and it's just like yeah there's a few of them where it's like I got like waved around like um like toys on screen like once I think I've still got like an old if you if you go back and I had like back back when you did like channel trailers and stuff I remember um I had one it had a uh, an endless sporadic song in it it was five minutes it's not even like it's a weird channel intro I don't know um you think I would have me talking in the channel intro I don't do channel intros now I literally just do the latest video I'm, I'm pressing X, my control is vibrating as I'm like attempting this. There we go. Okay, I never have to go in there again. <laughs> We're good. We're good. I'll just get the bone we'll out of here. Um, but in that like channel trailer, I've, I've got like, I don't know why my mum got me uh, these freaking like Teletubbies that dance in the store. I had like a brief like phase when I was like 12 where it's like, uh, instead of like bronies, I was a I was a tubby, and tubbies were never a thing. But it's like I'd try to like 
discern and be like artsy over Teletubbies. And then mm. and my mum for oh. some reason got me like some Teletubby dolls that moved. Um so they're in the channel video and they're in like a couple of other videos that I may have had where it's like I filmed my like I filmed my like uh rumpus room there. But uh nah. Sorry, it's a dude that has a broken neck. This has a Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like my main character's already broken his neck multiple times in this game. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're done with this area. We've got seven bones, so we're on the home stretch. Can you upload helping hands in some way if you find it, like on SoundCloud or YouTube? I don't... <laughs> I can... I'll... I'll, I'll oh, listen, I'll put it in the stream VOD. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> I have a SoundCloud for like an actual, hopefully proper, well not proper, as if that discredits what I did before, but it's like, more than just like Sibelius, like I do want to properly produce music, I'm doing it under like an artist name, but I'm not sharing that yet until I've actually got that, so for the time being I'll just pop Helping Hands on just like a, a file, um, I'll just throw it somewhere, Careful. but uh, you know, you want it, I'll do it, it's all good, I'll look for it, it's probably somewhere. Do I have the old sounds version? Hopefully. So anyway, Whoa, let's go to the- I could eat a horse. <laughs> he can eat a ho horse. Let's go to the dog pound. The dog pound is in, um, Doom 2 map 15. Uh, you can tell because of the red sky and also everyone is, is just here and this well not everyone, but there's three- <laughs> three dogs trapped in three cages and three keys scattered around the level. It is your goal to collect bad feeling about all three this. keys and deliver them back to- the dog, uh, to the dogs to free them. Uh, while you do this, you are being chased the entire time. And also, uh, the music is terrifying. It's such a tonal shift, isn't it? There you go, there's one. Now we gotta play a bit of, bit of catch em all, whack, catch em all, I don't know. Uh, you'll also find that there are bones here. Uh, he also can't get you up here, so you're all safe up here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, there are, the remaining nine bones of the game are all in this level somewhere. There's actually, I think they're all buried or things like that. Um, you can definitely oh, grab these ones pretty easily. Um, but there's quite a few where it's like, they're just buried. Like, there's no way you're getting them while this guy's chasing you. Actually, there is a way, but... I wouldn't. This music is so dramatic though, I tell ya. It's like, oh my gosh, man. Also, that guy's just chilling there. Oh, hi there. I'm gonna Let's grab that. do it. Oh, the juke. The juke. <laughs> we'll come around the other way. Um, but yeah. No, yeah. I, 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 I do love my, uh, like, old YouTube. I think that's a very good charm to all that old stuff. And uh, I do sure hope that um, people don't mind that. Oh, look, another bone up there. I didn't even realize that there's a fourth one up there. I'll get it later because I've got a free break. Uh, all you got to do is rescue these three dogs and then you get free reign over the level so don't worry about um, don't worry about uh, getting the bones right off. It was up the top here, wasn't it? The last key? Oh. Ooh. Here it is. Last key. Uh, the tension is getting to me. Okay. Well, there you go. I bested him. Yeah. <laughs> For me as a kid, I would have been like absolutely terrified of this level had I gotten up to it. But I didn't. And I'm really not sure how I would have felt. Other than exactly what it said. This dog catching business. I'm gonna pursue my dream of programming computer games. Wow. <laughs> you got the entrance to Miss Peach's place. <laughs> he just, he's just learning to code. That's, that's what he's... What a strange end to his arc. Isn't it? Okay, I swear these didn't even exist before. Bones. That's what it's all about. I, I, I didn't see that one there. Alright. Bone tastic. Is there another bone? Didn't it's just just up anywhere? Nah, nah, we're good. Uh, okay, what is that? There's two in that direction. 
Because we've got what? We've had five. Maybe there's one behind the wall. All right, we'll dig a bit and then uh, we're on the home stretch. We're already on the home stretch. We're always on the home stretch. But yeah, one, one of the biggest killers for... Also, wow, I've got eight viewers. Hello at all eight viewers. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> um, one of my things with old YouTube is... Uh, um, the Was it the 009 sound system song? Um, which is like, it's such a classic. But it's also like, man, all the people who like had content Whoa, before you could, could switch to that. That would just get taken down. And it used to be a lot oh, less spammy way back in the day where people wouldn't really, you know chuck takedown requests as frequently as they do now but yeah it's 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 a shame that like there's so much old content that's then just like oh yeah it's been turned into my favorite turned into nothingness so uh this is your final check by the way you need to have 90 bones if you have 90 bones he just leaves he's done yeah it's a shame yeah um now, before I walk into uh, the uh, house from uh, the uh, suburbia level of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, um, there's, where's that last bone? Mm -mm. Is it around the back? Around the back? Hey, it was around the back. There you go. Bones. Do that. We are at 125. We have officially collected every single bone in the game. Good thing you, you have a dog kennel here. Outside a house. The only level with nine, or other than the very first level, with nine bones. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a really quick level because it's just, yeah, they're all, all the bones are just chilling there. There we go. We're not done yet though. We gotta wander in. Thanks for the follow, Nalsy. <laughs> The big 125. Yes, yeah. Yes, Miss, uh, Miss Pitchers. But you two aren't complete idiots. In fact, you have done well. We have? One of those Clarksville dogs is perfect for my purposes. Nice and clean. Lean, yet tender. She will make a soft and sensitive treat. Sliced, diced and mashed into a delicious pate by the big machine. Once I have tested it on her, full production will commence. Uh, can I ask a question, Miss P? Dwayne, no! That's all right, Wayne. Miss Peaches is in a generous mood today. Ask Always trust people to speak the about themselves uh, in the third you're person. You're not gonna hurt that little doggy, now are ya? <laughs> it's more of a sign, more of a red flag than laugh. <laughs> it's the third person. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I would have nightmares forever. So here we are. We have wandered into um. What's this? The big oh. machine. Something tells me that Miss Peaches isn't making ordinary cat food. <laughs> okay, just just want to know. Uh, <laughs> this is the plan. If just catch up with the story here. So the dogs go in the truck. The dogs then go on a conveyor belt where there is fire. Uh, pulverizers. Uh, freaking spinning things, cogs, whatever, all that, and they go into a big machine. Can sell can equals money. Then she gets a private jet. You see, that's the plan. That's the whole plot. The, the whole plot of the game has been just up here, just to go. Uh, dogs. Uh, or was it? <laughs> you're just eating dogs. That's it. Or it's cat food technically. So your cats are eating dogs. It's a cat eat dog world. Someone probably said that once, and that's that's just how they went with the story. Also. Man, Daisy, Daisy, Osha's gonna have a field day on this one. Daisy, I've got to turn off the big machine. She's but just accepted now. her fate, man. She could just be like walking backwards, um, but no. So what do you have to do? You have to go up to every single machine and press the button. It will then turn off that machine for that hot second, allowing you to then wander around and press the next machine. Uh, you may be wondering what happens if you just let Daisy just, you know, accept her fate. Well, let's see. Cause that'll be kind of funny. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Like it, like look, this it's just so like industrial. It's so grunge. All right, we're gonna watch what happens when the dog goes through this machine. It was just the dream. <laughs> but um yeah, uh if if you cared about this character, I mean good thing good thing she barely shows up, but oh my gosh man, this is someone's dog. We're just show, showing them go through the most you know, massive pulverizer ever. Like she doesn't even try to leave. You know, I was really curious because I've played Xenogears and I just thought that it was kind of, kind of funny that came up in that game as well. It's like, oh. To pull this, we uh, stop this one. It's, I guess, I guess the whole factory is one machine, one big machine, but these are all like separate parts. Like, she, she bought two of the same thing here. The Squisher 9000. And there's no music as well, it's just, <laughs> listen to industrial noises. Uh, of course as well, we've gotten all the bones, so there's nothing other than saving the day here. I have a very bad feeling about this. There we go. Oh. Dude, all these, like, butt swords are, like, red, like... You can't tell me that's, like, rust. That's... That's, like, clean, unoxidized blood. Yeah! This game is rated G! This is for kids! This thing's for kids! This thing is so unhinged. This is- this is the most unhinged ending to like, I would not have expected this at all. Alright, I- I don't think I've missed any so far. Nearly everything's off. You know, apart from those boxes... No. You know... There's at least like a nice comfy walkway to lead around here. Anyways, if you get to the end, uh... Hey, those things might come in handy. Now you just gotta yeet, to yeet some, <laughs> you know, wrenches, a pile of wrenches right here. Yeet them in. If you do that enough times... You win! That's it! Oh, <laughs> yeah, if you just skip to this, you're like... What I happened in the middle? Daisy. Oh yes, she will be mine. Love. Now they're gonna, you know, do a doggy oh, style, I guess. You could outwit Miss Peaches, didn't you? You disgusting creatures. Oh, now she's just coming at us with the shotgun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Into nice gooey food for my precious kitty cats. Get your doggy asses into the big machine. <laughs> Speaking of food, I had beans and cabbages for supper. Take this, cat lady. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Canning Miss Peaches cat food. Oh, okay. It's goofy. It's goofy. It's okay. Oh. Slicing. Oh. Dicing. Mashing. Oh. Miss Peaches is cat food. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't think I... I yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not really sure if this is, like, that much better of an outcome. Well, that's it, I guess. The story of a dog's life. My old friends all threw me a swell homecoming party back in Clarksville. Gramps wrote a book while I was gone. The story of It's his just life. a game. It's just a but game, guys. Don't worry. He has to change the title. My old guitar playing buddy finally made it big with a smash hit record. He did which it. I guess you probably own. 
Wayne and Dwayne opened a hypoallergenic dog grooming parlor. Why is he holding literally like a gone, silhouette of a dog? Nothing better than oh, wait, that's just the back of a black dog. A great time. And as for me and Daisy... Oh, yes. Now she is mine. See you next time. And that's it. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> that is the totally, totally level-headed ending of, of Dog's Life. Um, yeah, um, so as a, as a, uh, I guess as a bit of an overview, me as a kid, I got bored at the beginning parts, because m a large part of the, I mean, the game's split into three fairly evenly sized sections, but the whole first section on the farm, I don't know, there's something about it where I was just like, it's another farm level, it's another farm level to me, where it didn't really click. Me as an adult, as an adult where I'm a bit more patient with my games, I do appreciate it more, but I also sort of go, the game really only gets hard by having kind of obnoxiously timed challenges and the health mechanic, really, where it just slows you down arbitrarily. It really only kicks in right at the end. It's not too much of a problem as you go throughout the game, so... Uh, it's, it's generally comfy, it's generally chill. But the writing's a bit, you know... <laughs> But out of left field, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Uh, obviously as well, it plays into a bit of gross out humor by literally you can poop and you have to smell everything in order to <laughs> do stuff, I guess. But um, it's quaint. It's 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 just a quaint game. It kind of just exists. I, I don't really know how much to explain it, but I don't really know of any. I mean, obviously they didn't make a Dog's Life 2 or anything. Oh, and the music's kicked in. Uh, oh, that's one letter off. Gem. Oh. Here we go, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. It's Megan. <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, no, um... This soundtrack is a vibe, though. It's a game about dogs. It doesn't need to go this hard, but it does. <laughs> it's like the it's like the end of um Half Life, where it's just like actually the whole Half Life, really, if you listen to it. But it's just like Half Life, a game that's otherwise like silent in terms of its soundtrack. And every time it kicks in with music, it's just like the best thing you've ever heard. And then like none of it ever loops. You hear it once, it's done. Um, so yeah, but uh. But yeah, and, and and on top of that, not only does it only exist, this game exists just at one point in time, it's never been re-released or ported or anything, um, it never even got released on any other consoles, it's just, yeah, it's just a PS2 version and that's it. Uh, I'm going to try my best, by the way, to uh, extract, extract this game without causing too much uh, interruption, because I want to, I want to briefly show off that European version. And then we're kicking in with this music. Oh, yeah, no, this was this was a it's it's a it's a decent game. It's a decent game. I wouldn't exactly say I like love it, but I wouldn't exactly say it's really bad or it's not really that bad. There's not really that many things that you can point at and go, hey, it's bad. Um, probably, yeah, I. I I guess you could say if you're an adult and you're seeking a bit more of a like a deeper collectathon, ones with more kinds of gameplay mechanics, because ultimately every single dog is mostly the same, just like oh it jumps a little different or it pulls a rope a bit, bit differently, like yeah, okay. Um You made a typical job look easy. Thank you, SCE. Uh but um yeah, I'd say it looks alright. The occasional level that's at 60 frames a second is a bit interesting though. But uh... No, no. That's nice and chill. It's a chill game. The end. For now. And, and it's still for now, because the credits are still rolling. Oh, 
we're still going. Oh, oh, did you catch that for a hot second? Oh, there it is again. <laughs> the secret loading screen. The, the game secretly had a loading like prompt in there. <laughs> and it was like, well, I don't know what to do. So obviously it's booted out into the main menu and uh, the game's mostly done. There's apparently an, un an unused loading texture as well. I'm just like glancing at the cutting room floor while I'm in the mix. Um, and there does exist a Japanese version. Ooh. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Oh my gosh, the Japanese version actually has pedigree in it. Like, the product, the the brand pe pedigree, and then also a thing telling you that the game was fictitious, just in case, just in case. So how about let's uh let's um uh boot out of the game for a hot second, and uh we'll boot up the um the European version just to just to get some uh, some of that Norwegian dub lines in there. So how about let's jump over to an intermission for a hot second. Let's change a couple of things on my end. Sorry. Here we go. And now let's go. Next life. Here we go. Back to the game. Uh, I'm only going to have it in 4x3 mode right now. EU version for the win. Yes. <laughs> So you get a bunch of languages right off the bat, and other than that, that's it. So what are we? Which one's Norwegian? Norsk? Are we doing with Norsk? What is a Suomi? What's what's our different languages here? I think it, actually, I think the European version also has pedigree, but the American version, everything is fictitious. The last one's finished. We'll do finish as well. Uh, what else? The Japanese ending of the game has a few differences in the international disc, mainly the one where it cuts short, removing the part where she is fed back into the machine, and said machine announces, uh, it, oh, uh, just a spiel. Just, just keep going. We'll just, just, just go on. Uh, there also seems to be a gun cocking sound added to the Japanese version just before Jake kills her. The exact changes can be seen in this video comparison. Och detta är livet mitt. Ingen skola, ingen plikter, ingen klär. Är inte det stiligt? Ja då. Det är alla tider. Okej, okay. så so apparently it's just the American version that's unhinged by showing her literally getting mang- well not showing her but basically describing that she's being mangled and turned into mush and all that jazz. Det ska vi få gjort nog med. Ja, visst. Hon ska bli min. Daisy? Daisy? <laughs> I appreciate that my dogs make different sounds when they're in Norwegian. It's like, what, what's uh, <laughs> was it like? Uh, what a, I'm trying to remind myself, there was something where... Probably a kid's TV show, and there was like a cat. And the cat was dubbed by some voice actor, and it's different in every region for some reason. So it's like, you get to the Russian dub, and instead of just like, cat noises, it's just some guy clearly going, Meow, 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 meow! Like, just that over and over. <laughs> Um, I would also like to add a uh, shout out to the guy on GameFAQs who said, uh, 72 hours in the game, I've now mastered fighting, picking up, throwing poops, etc. But I can't unlock the sniper rifle. Any help? Oh, is widescreen on? I think widescreen is on, by default. Interesting. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy. Uh, oh, here's this kid. Hey, 
gøye meg så ufølsomme folk her. Men jeg må komme i form igjen om jeg skal dra og lete etter Daisy. Hold på hatten, her kommer jeg! This is a very, very interesting dub. I am actually, you know what, you know what, I, I, I go, I'll go harsh on it, but also like, I really do appreciate uh, lots of localization efforts, especially for all these European languages, um, because especially it's just like how many people really like, you know, does a Norwegian version apply to? I guess Norway's got a decently big population. Hold on, what is Norway's population right now? Is it more than Australia? Because then it's like... Oh. No, it's five million. It's five million. It's like, yeah. Like, and a lot of them know English. It's like, you could do it in English and probably get away with it, but... Put in the effort. There you go. Flink fisk! <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can sort of smell that the frame rate is lower as well, and this is the main reason why I play American versions uh, of games on... Uh, on streams, just because, uh, you know, you do lack the languages, but you certainly do get a few frames, and when you're on the PS2 generation, it's like... The increased resolution isn't really that worthwhile. Although I'm always surprised when you see a game and it's got, like, a 60 hertz option for being a European game. I actually played one of those uh, the other day. I played, um, was it, it's called Car Racing Challenge, uh, which only came out in Europe, but it's also uh, just a localization of a Japanese uh, simple 1500 game. Um, I forgot which one it was, but if you look up Car Racing Challenge, um, yeah. Uh, let's walk over to the radio. Let's see what the Miss Peach's dialogue is in, in the Norwegian. Oh, hallo i luken, gode venner og nabor. Dette er Hiram J. Chickenplucker. Men bare kall meg Hank er på Stereo-Vikor Radio. Som sender direkte fra Clarksville Centrum. Greit. Da ser det ut til at vi er klare for borgernes spørretime her på CHIK. Programmet der du som borger kan få stille meg de spørsmålene du vil. Vi blir sponset av Miss Peaches knasende kattemat. I, oh, I know that word. Og senere i kommer det flere av hennes prisbelønte reklamer. Ok, linja er åpen. Hvem har du der, Clarice? Jo, det er Merle Chicken Wing, kyllingbonen. Hvordan <laughs> står det til Merle? Uh, Takk, bare bra, Henk. Hva med deg? Faktisk ikke så bra, Merle. Jeg har litt vondt i magen i dag. Dude, you're just gonna think that like I'm swearing my video, but no, it's just Norwegian, man. It's just Norwegian. Det var da leit å høre, Henk, men apropos dyr. Spitt ut, Merle. Takk skal du ha, Clarice. Spørsmålet mitt er, hva i heit er det som foregår med hunden i Clarksville? Hoi, det var litt av et spørsmål, Merle. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's wander off. Um... Let's let's talk to the guitarist guy and then I guess, I guess we'll do the the barking at the grandpa guy and then we'll switch over to the other language. Hello there. Hi, I'm glad I just jumped in the water instead of like talking to you. You know, just like normal people do. Snack. Batterien i forsterkeren min er liksom flate. Hva er det jeg skal gjøre nå? Dø, hundetypen! Ta rundt et batteri til meg, og så får du... Ah, no. The inflection is already goofy in English. It's just kind of hilarious in a language I don't understand. I don't know. It's hilarious. Yes, yes. But smell-o-vision is indeed still smell-o-vision. Samyal de it gron. It's not eight. I know. It's probably some other word. Oh, I love hitting select. Hi, Jack. I have been to Oh, there it is. There it is. It's actually pedigree. It's actually pedigree. Oh, poor pedigree. Imagine being like you're oh, in yeah. the same brand. You're in the, you're putting your brand in, oh, in a game with that ending. Jake, din slimme slimme hund. 
Jeg drømte at heia-gjengen fra Klagstein vann konkurransen i gjørmebryting. Ja, ja, men sant. Ja, 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 men sant. Beklager, Jake. Daisy er ikke her. Er du ikke klar til at Daisy er ikke her? Pants sailing in the wind. Bare så vi henne, du bestefar. Hun kommer nok snart. Jeg håper det. Hun er yndlingsjenta mi. Hun er yndlingsjenta mi. Daisy lukta så godt. Jeg vet ikke om det er noe som er veldig stort på ham. Du, Jake. La oss se hva mer du kan enn å vekke en stakkars gammel mann midt i en veilig dag. Cutting room floor when it comes to this game. Dekk, Jake. Men det har en prototype og en pre-release page også. Flink, kun. Reis deg. Reis deg. Flink, kun. Ligg død, Jake. Flink hun! Veldig fint, Jake! But it's actually kind of curious, I guess, as well, because this game came out in um, in Europe in uh, basically Halloween 2003. That's what the cutting room floor says its release dates are. It was released in the US August 24, 2004, which is like 10 months later? That's a pretty long, I guess, time just to, like, release it in the US. And then the Japanese version removed the, um, well, I guess it re-added the pedigree. Because pedigree is not in that US version there. Um, but also it, uh, it then, rem you know, sort of self-censored itself. Uh, let's do the other language while we're at it. Um, okay, how do we do this? Do we do, I assume this is title screen? Nope. That's a return to game. How do we title screen from here? I know we can change the language while we're at it. There we go. Title screen. <laughs> Lata! Hey, hang on. You're cheating. You just went back up to the top again. There's your Frontier logo again. And let's just, let's experience this opening cutscene again in, in lovely, lovely, lovely finish. Uh, but yeah, the release day in Japan is March 26, 2005. Yeah. Like, that's ages away. Props to them for actually having a Japanese release, though. There's quite a bunch of games that just miss it. It's a game about dogs. How can you not release it worldwide? But yeah, I, I don't understand the American release taking that long, because usually you get the European release later, because they're doing all the translation work and they just, you know, release it earlier in the US. Since it's a European design game, it probably makes sense that they would release in Europe at least you know, first, but I don't know, I don't know why a US version takes that long, oh well. I actually kind of appreciate that doing the nasally aspects of these characters as well. They've captured it well, good on them. Saanko mä leikkiä noiden havojen kanssa? Voi olla tosissa, sit vein, ootko ihan hullu, ne hän ovat täynnä kamalia tauteja. Mut kun mä tykkään koirista, vein. Mutta minä sanoin jo ei. Jo ei. Oh, wow. I love how the, her plan was foiled because of that action as well. That's all it took. Ouch. Pää sattui. Mitä? Ah. Ah. Ei, Daisy! Ei, Daisy! Ah. Minun pelastettava Daisy. Daisy. Mutta miten? Hei, Jake. Mitä surisee? Kilpaillaanko? Kumpi ekan mäen huipulla? Voi veljet, että ihmiset osaa olla tunteettomia. Mun on saatava itseni hyvään kuntoon, että jaksan etsiä Daisyä. Pidä pöksyistäsi kiinni. I know Swedish has a bunch of like structures that are a bit closer to English than many other languages. I don't know how close 
Norwegian or Finnish uh, get into that. And then I pause the game looking at the sun. There's a, a lot of long words though, I'll tell you that. JK? Oh, now he's kidding. Hey, mä olen herra Jake sulle, senki haisukinttu. No niin, Jake sulle, isn't that the character from Avatar? Hele viitsi, kakki ko koirat muka metsään. Okei, täältä pesee. Oletko valmiina, Jake? Vähemmän puhetta, enemmän tekoja. Seuraa, Jake. <laughs> Following this kid again. It all comes full circle. Guilty koira, tule tänne, Jake. Guilty gear? No, we're not playing that. Guilty poika, Jake. I'm kind of impressed how many more syllables there are, though. Ah, there's charm to things being in your own native language. Hey, Jake, what's okay? Now that I know it all. I always see like articles about like. What they call it, like English well, privilege, because there's a lot of things that are in English. And I don't know, I'm a bit of a naive kind of guy. Because, uh, I don't really know any other languages, except fluently. I know, the easiest thing is to just have a compare and contrast. Something that is pretty directly translatable into another language, just side by side. How does it play out in one language? How does it play out in another? Just start with that and start reading some things side by side. Just, just that kind of stuff. I, I don't know what's going on with the emulation today, I tell you. Howdy do ya! Howdy do ya! Tässä puhuu Hiram J. Chickenplacker, mutta sanokaa Hank vaan. Tervetuloa kuuntelemaan CHIK Radion lähetystä suoraan Kaasmuri-keskustasta. Okei. Olemmeko kaikki valmiita kansalaisten kyselytuntiin, uh, joka alkaa se hoiko oh, radissa? Where's, where's Siinä te kansalaiset voitte esittää kysymyksiä minulle. Give us Ohjelma on sponsoroinut Neiti rapea kissan ruoka. Myöhemmin kuulemme vielä Neiti Piitsisin palkintojakin saaneita mainoksia. Huh, Okei, okay, linja on auki. Kukas meillä on linjoilla, Clarice? No, sehän on Merle Chicken Wing, se kanafarmari. She must oh, actually say the word chicken wing at some point. Does chicken wing not have a translation? <laughs> uh, uh, one last thing I would like to show off before we uh, fully uh, log off for the night is uh, let's change this back to English. Uh, if you're on the poor screen, um, uh, is it on the poor screen? Actually, I think it's just in game. If you press, so stand still, bark. Bark, bark, hold square, and your growl, hold square again, hold square again, and then do a poop. Uh, you'll see the game sort of. Yesterday, sweet corn. The game sort of pause for. Oh, and animate a sound there. No, oh, okay, sure. Uh, scroll over to the options, and uh, you now have a cheat at the top. So that's your thing. Just uh, bark three times, and growl three times, and then do a poop. You now have a cheats menu. Your dog's stats is, uh, basically you can set the number of bones your character has. Um, I guess if you want to just, like, shortcut into anything and just, oh, look, I got this many bones. Uh, the actual number of bones in the game is 125, but, uh, you know, does anything stop you from hitting the maximum number of bones, which may or may not keep going on ad infinitum? Will we hit 1,000? Where is the limit? Where does it stop? We've clearly gone past a third, a, an 8-bit integer, which is really all that's needed in order to store this number. But you know how most most games are. Why why take 8 bits when 32 will do? I'm pretty I'm I'm going to see if this hits 1000. I love the pedigree ad right there as well. It's, it's pedigree right there. This original the, and this is the original release of the game. They just that was it. There was advertising all, all the time right there. Um, so yeah. Uh, your other things that you've got in the cheats menu you can spot there is the actual um, integer dog location values. That's probably good for whoever was doing the retro treatment set could compare that. Oh, okay, 999. Nine, nine. Cool. Uh, you can also teleport levels. 
Uh, of, it's very hard to see because it is kind of <laughs> there. Um, but you can see there's like center two. And I assume if you go to center two, this is the cutscene of center two that happened. We're going to hear this in English again. Sorry. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad I've just decided to make you all sit through this cutscene again. Manual beeswax, Dwayne. Dwayne speaking. Well. Did you collect some nice, clean Clarksville dogs? Uh, uh, and, and you can see from the other option nice in there, um, from up at Lake basically gives you the ability to uh, switch yeah. to the other dog that's playable oh, in that scene. Sticks. Can't I trust you idiots to do anything? Uh, Which is an interesting cheat. I feel like there's some much more aggressive cheats that you could have. Maybe it's like, me? I don't know, like yes, max your health Peaches. or, um, uh, I don't know if what? no clipping is that an option. She says, why aren't we in Lake Miniwawa? Because, Dwayne, you are useless at reading roadmaps. I do kind of like the, the dog movement, although it gets a bit weird in, in the uh, end parts of the game. Wait, look, at last. At last. <laughs> and now we're at a cafe because uh, that's, that's just where the game goes. Oh, you may be wondering what happens. Once we once we get a bone after nine nine nine, I always love these cheats. It's just kind of like a nice like little ending, you know, coda to everything. You're going through the game. You're getting like, you know, you've done everything. You found everything about this game. Like, I don't think there's anything left in the game to show, other than just show some cheats and show that you can use the cheat menu to immediately like. You know, jump to other parts of the game. If I find eight of these, I can do the digging challenge. Yeah, so if I kick this over, there's a bone in here. Are we just capped at 999? Yeah, we're just capped at 999. That's all. <laughs> oh, wait, we're at a thousand! We did it. We have made this top value panic. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't make, I can't make it go back up again. All right. Um... But yeah, you can see uh, there's Cafe 2, there's all these other levels. Uh, what is that? Finale 3, Finale 1, 2, the Pound, the Park. Because there were three scenes in that end pit. And that's that. Kind of... You see a sort of hitches there. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, let's say I go to Finale 2. Which is... Oh, this is the cutscene, isn't it? Ah, oh, well. Okay. Oh, sorry, Miss Peaches. You disgust me, you filthy little man. Yes, Miss. Miss I'm glad. I'm glad this is how I'm ending this. All right, I think we've seen everything. I I don't think there's anything more to to really see or say about this game. Definitely give it a go. Uh, see how you experience it. And buy some pedigree. Apparently, that's that's the ad we're going for here. Um. But yeah, yeah, last thing I want to mention as well, um, there's some pre-release uh, information on uh, on a cutting room floor, including the original showing at GDC 2001. It kind of looked a fair bit different, but you could probably get the vibe of what they were going for at this point. Um, there's an April 2003 release, which is basically close to the final game at that point but it's just curious seeing it like two and a half years earlier because this has been in development for a while so i'm not gonna hurt that little doggy and they also called it dog's tail so if you ever see stuff they, it's around that name so anyway <laughs> let's end with a bit of maniacal laughter it's always the best I will, I will do the, the helping hands thing. I'll check that and I'll, I'll throw that in the stream VOD description for you. So check, check that on YouTube when that's uploaded. Um, yeah, I'm curious what happens if you try to switch to another dog from the screen. Or I'm going to crash the game. Nothing. Dang it. I thought something interesting would happen. But no, nothing happens. Done. Oh well. Well... In that case, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you're not following on Twitch, you can follow on Twitch, where I stream every 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, 
that, that's about it. Uh, <laughs> the stream vod will be on YouTube, so you can subscribe to my YouTube for that. Thanks. It's well, it's 10:30 p.m. at night for me, so it's the end of the end of the day for me. But uh, yeah, no, have a great day if you're anywhere else because you've still got more day available. And if you are uh, still, I don't know, whatever time you you watch this as well. If you're watching the stream vod, then uh, have a great rest of the day yourself as well. Um, if you want to see s silly things I post uh, from time to time. Uh, I'm on the Fediverse. You can follow me. My website's just m.bndow.com. I just post stuff there. Just follow my instance there. You'll 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 see what I mean there. Um, and yeah, other than that, uh, stay safe. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. And um, I went a whole stream avoiding uh, controversial hardware topics that apparently <laughs> plague the internet again. These topics never stop. There's nothing new about them. I don't know what to say. So anyways, thanks everyone. Have a good one. See ya.